I really looked to the Lord and asked him what he wanted me to share briefly. I heard the Lord talk about vision, vision and how we must have vision in these times, in these challenging times, in these times of crisis. Yes. And how we must keep a focus on the things that the Lord would have us to pursue. I read from Proverbs 29, verse 18, where it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And then I also read from Habakkuk 2, verse 2. And it says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. Let me just read that again. Habakkuk 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. I would like to at least merge those two scriptures for us just to make some sense of what is happening around us. And to encourage us that whatever challenges, whatever crisis, whatever trials, whatever we're undergoing at this time as women, that God always wants to speak to us and he will speak to us and he will show us something that he wants us to, to, to carry out, to run with. He wants us to document it to take it to heart, you know, to take it to heart. You know, it's a different thing than when we say, God did tell me something. I mean, think we didn't remember, oh, you had a dream. And, you know, you get up in the morning and you tell somebody and, you know, you barely remember it or you remember it to a point. But it's something else. It's another level and dimension when you go to write down what you have been given by the Lord. What you believe you have been given by the Lord, and you have a specific place that you document it because you believe it's of value. I want to charge the women on the platform to take the vision of the Lord seriously, the things that the Lord would have you and you alone that are specific to you and to your calling and to your purpose and to write that down and that for you to know that there's a specific place you can go back to it and refer. When the Lord spoke, yes, in Proverbs 29, and it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Where there is no vision for holiness, where there is no vision for righteousness, where there is no vision for breakthrough and miracles for God's people, yes? The people perish. The people lose hope. The people are discouraged. The people are, you know, depressed. And, and they, they feel like there is no hope. There is no way out of the situation. I want to challenge you to really go back again in prayer and to wait, to wait until the Lord speaks to you that you know 
that the Lord would have spoken to you and given you a vision, given you something. Yes, if you have a good memory, you might say, I don't have to write it down. But most of us don't have a good memory. Write it down. Write down that vision that the Lord would have given. And that vision is meant to impact and to change your world around you. And so I want persons not to lose hope, not to be discouraged, not to walk around under a cloud of depression, not to walk around and, you know, they can't impact the persons around them, all because they did not wait on the Lord and wait before the Lord and wait in his presence for something that is going to impact, that is meant to impact the people around them, their loved ones, and it may be the persons that they don't know. And I want to encourage you that as you write it down, as you write it down, you're meant to run with it. You're meant to run with it. You're meant to, to, to persons when they see it, they are, they, are, they are going to run with it. It might not even be you who have written the vision that you are going to be the one run with, running with it, but it may be somebody else. Please wait in the place of prayer. We come religiously every Tuesday morning to wait on the Lord. And as you wait on the Lord, surely he will speak. Surely this woman's Oasis Ministries was as a result of a vision. And so persons are running with it. I want to charge you today. What is it that the Lord is saying to you or has spoken to you already? For some persons, God has already said it to you. There is no repeat that he has to say. And he has repeated himself over and over. But you have not moved. Are the persons that are, you know, supposed to read it and acknowledge what is there, you know, they are not moving with it. I want to encourage you. That is the purpose for a vision. The purpose of a vision is that it tells something that must happen in, 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 in future events and that there should be a movement towards that by the help of God. I want to charge you to wait on the Lord, wait in his presence. Yes, there is no loss when we wait in the presence of God. Everything comes to us in the presence of God. Let us pray at this time for persons to receive the vision or, or to revive the vision. And sometimes persons would have received stuff that they have not moved at. So I want to encourage the women on the platform to be stirred and be revived and to revive the vision of the Lord that they have received in this time to impact their world around them. Father in heaven, I give you thanks and I give you praise for this time. Lord God, thank you for the vision of the Lord. Thank you that you still speak to us in this time, despite, oh God, the challenges. And Lord God, oh God, thank you for speaking to women right 